The mechanization of farming in the late 19th century forced small farmers to borrow money to pay rent for their equipment. When they could not pay, their farms were taken away. They began to organize, forming the populist movement of the 1880s and 1890s. Here are the words of one of its most important leaders, Mary Elizabeth Lease. When was that, Anthony? <laughs> well, it was 1890. Thank you. <laughs> this is a nation of inconsistencies. The Puritans fleeing from oppression became oppressors. We fought England for our liberty and put chains on four million of blacks. The great common people of this country are slaves and monopoly is the master. Wall Street owns the country. It is no longer a government of the people, by the people, and for the people, but a government of Wall Street, by Wall Street, and for... <laughs> Money rules. Our laws are the output of a system which clothes rascals in robes and honesty in rags. The parties lie to us and the political speakers mislead us. Mm. We were told two years ago to go to work and raise a big crop. That was all we needed. We went to work and plowed and planted. The rains fell, the sun shone, nature smiled, and we raised the big crop that they told us to. And what came of it? Eight cent corn, 10 cent oats, two cent beef, and no price at all for butter and eggs. That's what came of it. Then the politician said we suffered from overproduction. Overproduction? When 10,000 little children, so statistics tell us, starve to death every year in the United States of America. We want money, land, and transportation. We want the accursed foreclosure system wiped out. We still stand by our homes. We will not pay our debts to the loan shark companies until the government pays its debts to us. The people are at bay, so let the bloodhounds of money beware. Mm-hmm.